Hi there, this is Rich Outfield, and I'm looking at the various denizens of the Mos Eisley Cantina that you could put in the HasLab Cantina that's coming in 2025. And uh, just just at random, let's grab Walrus Man. I know what you're thinking. His name's not Walrus Man, you Philistine. Um, yes, he is. This is the Kenner 1978 Walrus Man, a mainstay in any Star Wars cantina. I believe they did make a cantina playset around the time that this guy was new on shelves. And uh, maybe it came with this guy. Who knows? Um, I don't have a lot of these Kenner guys. I never had Walrus Man as a child. My friends did. Um, and so I did get Panda Baba, which is what they call Walrus Man today. Now, this is a 1996, uh, 97 uh, Hasbro figure from Power of the Force 2. It's funny that just every time I move them in front of my face, the video gets better. Wouldn't you agree? Um, this is not a rare figure at all. They mass produced these Kenner, uh, these these Hasbro Power of the Force 2 guys. But what's weird is I was looking through my box and I found another Ponda Baba. And if you look, these two guys are identical. But this one has bendy knees, whereas this one doesn't. So this one has three more points of articulation. No. Two more points of articulation. This one has six points, and this one has eight. Uh, but for a bar, bendy knees is super important. You know? Wouldn't, wouldn't you agree? Uh, no, no, I'm waiting for you to agree. Uh, but, but although I don't believe Ponda Baba was ever sitting, so it's okay if you disagree. Uh, let's let's mature. Uh, let's evolve as Star Wars fans. And if somebody doesn't like something, uh, forgive them. Just move on. Uh, more importantly, if somebody does like something, forgive them and move on. We've got more in common then we have separating us. Oh, something that I've been doing is, oh look, this guy's got a bendy elbow. And this one doesn't. So this actually has three more points of articulation than this one does. Uh, I believe this was in a, a, a three pack, um, but they bothered to upgrade the knees and the arm. I, I love it when they do that. That shows that they care I mean, it also shows that they're selling well enough that they say, uh, let's reissue this, but we'll make a couple of improvements. I I, I admire that. Uh, well, something that I've... I gotta get a better chair. Something that I've been doing is I've been looking things up on eBay to see what it would cost you to get one of these. And so first up, this is the 19... It says 1997 Ponda Baba. And yeah, in, in the reflection, it looks like 2318, but it's really 318 that it's sold for, uh, for 345 shipping. That's not that much more than it was in, yeah, it says 97 for retail. So very, very easy to get. And right below it, there's the 1978. It's in somebody's hand. And that only went for 799 plus 425 shipping. So affordable, really affordable. Um, the one underneath it, four ninety nine plus two fifty shipping. That's not bad. Uh, plus that one has guns, and it looks like the one before it did not. Um, so these guys can be gotten uh, for cheap. There is, however, a vintage collection Ponda Baba, and vintage collection was the. End all be all that Hasbro made where the figures 
are hyper articulated. They tend to actually look like the character they're supposed to look like, and they're on retro card backs, and those tend to be the definitive version of any character that you want. And so uh, I don't have that TVC version. Uh, my guess is that it's going to be costly, especially when the Cantina comes out. Uh, I, if I were you, I would scoop it up now. But I, if I were buying one for me, I, do I need more than these three? I, I, I don't think so. But if I were buying one for me, I would just find a loose one and hope that uh, they're out there. That people just tossed the cards and then later decided they didn't want them anymore or I mean there's any number of reasons why people would sit in a squeaky chair but why people would sell off their collection and uh I'm not a professional at this I have a hard time looking at myself uh believe me i it, it, it takes a great deal of ambition just to do what I'm doing right now. But um, I'm going to do a few more characters and post the videos, and I hope that you enjoy them. Uh, in the meantime, there are so many characters that are out there that could go in your cantina, and you don't have to limit yourself to who was in the cantina in 1977 or in 1997, if you're one of them. Although almost all of us are now at this point, the special edition has existed longer than the original edition did. Um, and so a couple of those characters that were cut out and replaced, they've been there longer. It's sad, but that's, that's how it is. Um, I'm going to do more videos. But yeah, the point I was trying to make is if you want a... Maximilian from the Black Hole to be in your cantina, if you want an Indiana Jones in your cantina, if you want Return of the Jedi aliens to be in your cantina, if you want a Michael Jackson Moonwalker figure uh, or Care Bears or whatever it is to be in your cantina, it's your cantina. And uh, I'm, I'm just happy that we're getting one after so, so long. And I, I can't wait to see what people do with theirs. Mine will probably stay in the box for a while because that's the world that I live in. But, oh boy, I can't wait to see what you do with yours. This has been Rich Outfield. Thanks for watching.